in this video you will learn the most efficient way to shuffle the elements of uh, any given array and uh, we will do that using fisher edge algorithm so in coding problems interviews and at a lot of places you can see this problem in a variety of forms they can ask questions by asking shuffle the people sitting in a row or shuffle the cards given in an, any deck or a lot of forms so but before we start building our solution if you are new to hackerspan don't forget to subscribe to our channel we have tons of videos coming on tricky coding problems career talks development tips lifestyle of developers startups innovations and a lot with that said let's start building our solution so suppose we are given an array like uh, this one the one we are seeing in red and uh, by the end we have to build a random arrangement of uh, this array like this one so three will go here and one will come here nine will come here five will come here and two will come here so you can see all the elements of given array are arranged randomly so there can be a lot of solutions to do this and there can be a lot of ways that might come into your mind so but uh, uh, I, I will not take time to explain those solutions i will directly come forward to the most efficient solutions i know you must have tried all those solutions and uh, you want to understand and know what will be the most efficient solution so moving ahead we are given a function rand that gives a value from 0 to 1 that is 0 0.1 0 0.4 or any value and we are given a function called floor floor returns the most significant integer from any given value into it so with this in our hand let's start building our solution we will start randomizing from you know place one so we will take the element from the place one and that is the last place or the n minus one place and we will swap it with any random you know element from this array so here we are starting from one and uh, we randomly selected two as our element to swap this value so idea here is we will start randomizing each place one by one in a starting we selected the element given at n minus n minus one position then we will swap it with any element from array then we will do the same with uh, other elements so here is how our solution will look like we took one and randomized with any element from this one suppose we selected two and we swapped one with two after swap our array will look like this one so two will come here and one will go on the place of two again we will select nine and after selecting nine suppose we randomly select five and uh, we swap that value with uh, the element of uh, you know our selected position so here 9 will be swapped with 5 by the end of this operation we have 5 here and 9 will go here so so far we have processed the last two elements of our given array again we will select the third one element and we randomly select any value in in a minute you will see how this selection is random we will implement that but for now now let's suppose we have selected nine randomly and uh, we are swapping that with this value so after this operation three will come here and nine will be here again we will do the same with one that will be the you know fourth element 
and we will swap it with uh, 3 and after this operation 3 will be here and 1 will be here so you see we are swapping 1 by 1 with uh, any random element from the remaining array so you might be surprised you might be thinking like how are we selecting these random values we will build a solution of that also and you will see that is very easy so uh, here since we have already randomized each and every place and we don't need to randomize this place because this place is already randomized you can see this place has been already swapped so we don't have to do it so moving ahead this solution is order of n as you can see we have you know iterated through the array only once and since we don't need any extra space to do that except that one extra variable this is an in-place algorithm so here is uh, my code we have this code is in python and we have defined a function called shuffle and this will take array as argument so suppose this is our array and what we have to do is uh, we are starting a variable called n that variable will hold the value of uh, you know total elements that is the length of array and uh, i will explain this loop and how it is working in this loop we have started running it from n minus 1 that is the last element of, of uh, our array and we are iterating it to the first position of the element that is here so we are not going till the till zero we are just going till the first element that is the not not the element given at zeroth position the element given at one position so we we are picking a value this this line of code is for value which will be randomly picked to swap the element so here suppose random suppose we are at you know uh, n minus one position when uh, the iteration of this loop starts and the value of uh, i will be 4 here and uh, suppose random returns 0 0.4 rand function can return a new value ranging from 0 to 1 so suppose it returns 4 and what will happen here is if i is equal to 4 and uh, random returns 0 0.4 then peak value will become floor of 1.6 that is 1 so we will swap it with second element that is element at oneth position similarly when i will be you know 3 in the next iteration then 9 will be selected to swap and uh, the element picked will depend upon any value from here how it will be sure that only elements from this much portion will be selected because when we multiply the value given from random function with i then it will always be smaller than i so our selected or the value of peak will always be smaller than the value of i so again any random um, position will be selected and that will be swapped so after all these swaps our array will be suffered in a randomized manner so that was fisher eights algorithm fisher eights algorithm is most efficient non-algorithm for uh, shuffling elements in n given array it is order of n algorithm and you can see it is not taking any extra space plus it is also very easy to implement you can simply you know mind in that you have to use a random function and that multiply the position of element with uh, the value given from random function and then you will have to swap any picked value so